Hi, Coyotes. It's Friday, February 26th. We are on the last weekend of the month, and it's a short month that will end on Sunday. I have Mrs. Burnett here, our assistant principal, and Mr. Zanyartu, our school counselor. We're so happy to see you today. I know you've worked hard this week, and we're going to just get started with our flag salute, so please stand. All right, hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, so we're going to roll right into our jokes, and here we go. Why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? Because he was a little shellfish. How do you get a squirrel to like you? You have to act like him. Why did the student eat his homework? Because his teacher told him it was a piece of cake. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they fly over bay, there'll be bagels. What did the glue stick say to the glue stick? We gotta stick together. My joke of the day is, what do you call a dog that is hot? A hot dog. How many books can you fit in an empty backpack? None, because then it won't be empty. Why can't, why can't a leopard play hide and seek? Because he's always spotted. Why did the picture go to prison? Because it got framed. What do camels use to hide themselves? Camouflage. Where would you find an elephant? The same place you lost it. How do you tell a vampire that it's sick? Because how much it's been coughing. What's on the table at a monkey's party? Chimps and salsa. The second joke is, um, what animals never play fair? Cheetahs. Bye, that's all for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great job. All right, Mrs. Ridley is ready for her library update. So take it away, Mrs. Ridley. Hello, Cole Canyon Coyotes. I'm so excited to be with you today. Today is the day that we have been waiting to find out which are Cole Canyon's three favorite books from the California Young Reader Medal Award winning books. And for our kinder and first grade, our favorite book is Poor Louie. For our second and third graders, our favorite book is Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. And for our fourth and fifth graders, our favorite book is Reckless. I am so glad that you guys participated and listened to all these great books. If you haven't listened to the ones in the other grades, feel free to look, listen to those and learn more about each of them and why the uh, other grades picked their favorite for that book. Happy Friday! Thanks for voting! Great news to share, thank you. All right, Mrs. Burnett, here we go with our birthdays of the week. All right, thanks Mrs. Chabatini. Hi Coyotes, here we go. Our Coyotes who are turning six this week. Happy birthday to Levi, Briar, Hudson, Oliver, and Logan. And the next Coyotes are turning seven. Happy birthday to Kennedy, Cruz, Cooper, and Mackenzie. Turning eight, we have Tinley and Evelyn. Happy birthday. Turning nine, Alec and Jocelyn. Happy birthday to both of you. Turning 10 this week, we have Madeline, Levi, Kaya, and Jocelyn. And last but not least, turning 11, happy birthday to Ari, Mia, Vivian, Lucas, Matthew, Brayden, and Sienna. Enjoy those celebrations, coyotes. Wow, happy birthday, everyone. Wonderful. All right, here we go with our Mindset of the Week with Mr. Zanyard, too. Hi, boys and girls. As we make a return to in-person learning, I want to talk to you about the importance of personal safety skills. By now, it's likely that many of you have gotten to the habit of doing things like wearing masks in public just to help you make sure that you don't get sick. Now, while it may seem like it's taking forever to get back to, to normal, it's actually working. 
I saw a statistic actually a few weeks ago that the flu, that's a normal illness that happens every year, has dropped by actually 98%. That's incredible. And we were able to do that by being focused on the ways that we can stay safe. These habits will help you when you come to school, whether it's in hybrid or you're continuing online. These are things like washing your hands and sanitizing them frequently, doing your best to keep your physical distance from other people outside of your home, of course, wearing masks and making safe choices. All these behaviors are keeping you safe, your friends safe, your family, and our community safe. And as soon as we can get everyone safe, the sooner we can get back to doing what we all love, coming to school and doing in-person learning. So keep that going as we finish out the year and make great choices. Okay, great. That's a great message. Now, we love this part of the day. We have our Howley's Heroes. So here we go. Kindergarten from Miss Amcrab's class, Maya. From Miss Jaime's class, Brayden and Briar. From Miss Mendez's class, we have Parker. Moving on to first grade in Miss Espinosa's class, Jane. In Miss Gonzalez's class, Tiziano. In Mrs. Kranz, Nathan. In Mrs. Morehead's, we have Mason. In Mrs. Murray's, we have Addison. Mr. Reagan is celebrating Owen and Mrs. Stringer, Faith. And in Mrs. Phillips' first grade class, Peyton E. Second grade, Calvio, Mrs. Calvio Murray, Catalea. In Mrs. Garrity's, Mia. In Mrs. Landers, Lily J. In Miss Manzella's, Ava and Soli. In Mrs. Pacey's, Jacob. And in Mrs. Treese's, Annie. On to third grade, Mrs. Hartley's class, Jack. Mrs. Hess is celebrating Kayla. Mrs. Hewitson, Gavin M. In Mrs. Levins, Alec. In Mrs. Peterson's, Kendall. Mrs. Topes, Nolan. And in Mrs. Lopez's class, AJ. Fourth grade, Mrs. Getz, Peyton. Mrs. Schroeder, Taylor. Mrs. Smith, Ella. Mrs. Trujillo, Chloe. And Mrs. Vogel, Sophia. And in fifth grade, Miss Bethke is celebrating Cade. Mrs. Ryan is celebrating Satchel. Mrs. Greenstein has Joaquin. Mrs. Hemrick, Landon. Mrs. Maddox, Ariana. And last but not least, in Miss Miranda's class, Dylan C. Congratulations to all of you for working so hard. We're super proud of you. And we know that you put in another great week and hopefully soon we'll get to see some of you back on campus. We're working hard right now to create all of that and make it happen so we can see you very, very soon. Have a great weekend, everyone.